Hi, my name is Mark. And I'm Liz. And we're the executive directors of the Frank Foundation, which operates Camp Kiwani for Boys in Weld, Maine. Thank you for taking a few moments to learn about Camp Kiwani. Here at Camp Kiwani, we have a pretty unique schedule. Every morning you're going to hear this antique bell ring, and that's the way we mark the passage of time. So the first bell is at 7 o'clock in the morning, and if you want, you can go join this crowd of people every morning who goes out and jumps into the cold lake to wake up. And then we go off into breakfast. Uh, we have another delicious meal cooked by Sean. And then we start with the morning activity periods. So we have basically two activity periods in the morning that are scheduled and two activity periods in the afternoon. And then after those activity periods, there's free time. And actually the free time is something we really value here at camp. They can go to free archery or free range, uh, or just go swim in the lake for free swim. Or they can just walk around and appreciate the beautiful landscape we have here at camp. Our setting is very rustic. Some of our cabins are the very same as they were almost 100 years ago. We believe that part of the camp experience is one where kids and staff are very close to nature and there's no technology, no cell phones, no computers. We really want to give kids an opportunity to be away from those things and see what fills in when they're in such a beautiful setting. Here at Kiwani, we learn to do by doing. You can't teach someone to build a fire in a textbook. It's incredible how much you can learn in seven weeks here, or even three weeks. You can get so much done. You can create so many connections with people. You can make so many new friends, all in one or two or three weeks, that it honestly feels like a lifetime. And I think a lot of it has to do with not having distractions and be totally present here in the moment with your friends, with all these opportunities in front of you. I'd be like a completely different person if it wasn't for Camp Kiwani. I mean, I've learned so much from my friends, from the counselors, from other staff members. I can really imagine you know, what I would do without camp. A lot of our counselors are young guys, college age and into their early to mid-twenties. And they are the lifeblood of the staff in many ways. They're the guys who live with the kids, who take care of them, who comfort them when they need it. And they are, in most cases, guys who've been to camp themselves. And so they know what the campers are going through. They know the camp's traditions. It's great for continuity. It's great for empathy and it's great for a sense of community. The community of Kiwani is like the biggest point for me. I come back mostly because of my friends. The community of Kiwani, you have to leave it. Like, something I can't express. And it's awesome, I wish I could come here like every year. Going skiing or kayaking or being in the shop in nature was really fun. But I like Grand Maroons and the trips, the hiking trips. Tripping is a really sort of foundational part of the Kiwani experience. Our hope is that we can take the skills that we're teaching the boys in camp, bring them out of camp, and help them to sort of practice and cultivate those same skills in a different setting. And the foundation of it is the day hikes. So a really important part of it for us is to take every single boy in camp on a day hike in this area. There are several mountains within a 15 minute drive of camp. And the idea there is that with his lodge, every boy will have the opportunity to have that experience of getting to the summit of a mountain and being able to see out and being able to enjoy that with his lodge mates. It's hard to put into words the feeling of Kiwani and just like the whole spirit and the vibe. I mean, I've always struggled with that. Explaining to my friends, it's not just, oh, I'm going to summer camp. You know, it's a lot more than that to me. It's just a safe, fun environment. You know, no one's ever gonna judge you. You're always welcomed. It's almost impossible to feel lonely at camp. It's just surrounded by people that love you. 
everyone is just open to accepting one another. If you get up on a stage and play your guitar, I can guarantee you people are gonna go wild cheering for you because that's just the culture here. We really just wanna build people up and make everyone feel at home. don't hesitate to be in touch with us and we would be happy to, to talk more.